You know, I really do miss Lawrenceville. I can't stop thinking about all the great times I had here. Yeah, me too, dude. I can't stop thinking about the one house football game where we completely wrecked those guys. Yeah, man, that game was sick. Or when it was Major Simon's week and we all crushed it. I actually never remember being stressed. Tell me what a square is. Uh, no idea. Oh, oh god. god. Yo, guys, you remember that one time I totally got that girl's number? Oh my god, dude, that was the best. Dude, I know. Yeah. 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 Yo, can I get that number? What about that time that I got that A on the English quiz, yo? Yeah! Great times, guys. Lawrenceville really prepared us for college. Mm. Mom? Yeah? How do I do laundry? from my presidential campaign last year where I almost won just because I was being an idiot and it worked, sort of. Uh, go follow Real Guns from Weissenberger because it's a tough account and you'll have a lot of fun on it. I'm Matthew, your other co-host. I also ran for president last year, but you wouldn't remember that. Uh, welcome to SNL though. It's going to be a great show. Hello. My name is Guntram Weissenberger, and I'm your new student body president. Over the years, I've come to understand that no one knows what they need, but I know what's best for you. Through hard work and determination, I will single-handedly lead this school back to greatness. For 25 years, this school has been the laughing stock of the maple. I will lead us back to greatness. Heavy sanctions placed on us by Petty and Hun have stalled our economy and undermined the strength of our glorious institution and its extraordinary students. As a result, inflation has reached an all-time high as students spend their entire big red balance on a mango smoothie at the bathhouse. Major news outlets have turned to reporting fake news, solidifying their place as enemies of the people. Breaking news here from N12 News. It has been found that Guntram N. Weissenberger's father, Guntram J. Weissenberger, was once a president at the Hill School. Safe Schools is launching an official investigation into the matter. We'll have more updates for you shortly. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Our students are no longer the future leaders of the world. We've been driven to the bottom of society. However, our troubles end today. Executive Order 658, I will centralize our government. All of student council's responsibilities will be henceforth directly controlled by me. 
I will be placing my portrait in every house's common room and academic classroom to constantly remind the population that I fully understand your needs. Under my leadership, Lawrenceville will regain its place on top of Niche.com's list, and we will realize the potential of our superior people. Very nice to see you, Lamont. It's very nice to see you, too. Yes. Yeah. Are we good? This message has been paid for by the Wagon Season Foundation. What's up, Gabby? I'm right outside. I'm coming in now. Beep boop. Hey! Welcome to my house. Long time no see. I know. Okay. Ooh. I have not seen you since you went to this new school. What is good, my dude? Oh, well, you see, lately I've just, you know, been doing my sports. No, I'm going to call you out on this, all right? You haven't talked to me. You haven't even, like, texted me after, like, 10 days. Like, you just stopped. Yeah, you see, it's really nothing personal. It's just, you see, after check-in um, in study hall, they have to cut off the Wi-Fi so that, you know, we go to sleep and, you know, do all of our work and stuff. They so. turn off the Wi-Fi? Yeah. They turn I'll, off the Wi-Fi? Yeah, they... D um, you see... You see, it's um really not that bad once you actually go here. Like, I know for me. Um, so, you know what it's like. Honestly, like, it's... It's like kind of rough because you know we get our Wi-Fi shut up and stuff. You want to go to a movie tomorrow, okay. huh? Yeah. At least. Yeah. Tonight. You see, I really can't because I actually have class on Saturday, and then you know I have a I have a twenty-page paper to do, so I kind of can't go. Like we can do. Like Hidden a few miles outside an elite Ivy League institution lies the Lawrenceville School. Lawrenceville is ranked by Niche as not the third best, not the second best but the 10th best high school in America. Meet Mr. Murray, the headmaster of the Lawrenceville School. On this episode of Undercover Boss, Mr. Murray will be going undercover to find out what Lawrenceville students think of the school. I'm Steve Murray, headmaster of the Lawrenceville School. Here we take pride in the fact that we are just a little bit different. No, Steve, we're not the film guys. This isn't a promo video. This is Undercover Boss. Oh. Now it's time to make Mr. Murray fit in with the student body by disguising as a Lawrenceville student. Our fashion expert, Victoria, is here to help. Oh my gosh, Mr. Murray. I'm so excited to finally start working with you. Yeah. So, while you know I love your usual business chic, headmaster, in charge, rule the school look, I'm thinking we go a little something more for the boys mm -hmm. for this project. Yeah. So, I've selected some items for you to try on, and let me know what you think, and we'll work from there. Looks awesome. And the final touch. Get out. Love it. Hi, squad. Hello. Do we know you? Uh, no, um, I, I was at I own school. It was really lit. Have you guys seen Mr. Murray ride his bike around campus? I mean, he goes so fast. I mean, like, most people are able to do that. I think it's pretty impressive what he, what he does. Uh, what he do? Uh, oh, sure. Yeah. sure. Welcome back to Francais One. My name is Teacher. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Madame, j'adore le français. Est-ce que je peux répondre à la question? Je veux, je veux participer, madame. J'adore le français. Very good. Please learn from your fellow classmate, everybody. Je m'appelle Jack. Not quite. Maybe you could learn something? Whoa there, class. What just happened? The truth is, this is a lot harder than I thought. I think we ought to have Headmaster's Day every week. 
How shocked were you when you found out it was really Mr. Murray all along? Wait, that was supposed to be a secret? Yeah, not a lot of 15 year olds usually have a mustache on their face. It's pretty obvious. It's for breakfast. I'm actually not sure. Let's check the house letter. I can't wait to see what brilliant food Erwin looked up for us today. Guys, what happened to the house letter? What do you mean? Where is it? It can't just be gone. It, it is. It's gone. <laughs> no! Are you a fourth former who spends a little too much time doing homework? Do you go to the library to actually get things done? Are you looking for something to do the night of Thursday, May 30th? Well, you're in luck. From the creators of How to Make a Perfect Walk at Irwin, I'm proud to announce to you our newest program, How to Get a Senior to Invite You to Prom. Hmm. In this instructional video, we'll teach you how to become close with a senior you've never seen before in the last two months before they graduate. Sign me up. But wait, where am I even supposed to start? With your purchase, you will receive a full course on how to casually approach someone with the intention of spending the most awkward night of your high school career by their side. Here's a little preview of what we have to offer. Step one, find anyone, literally anyone, who is in the class of 2019. Make an excuse to talk to them. Start a conversation and let the friendship blossom from there. Oh my god, I haven't seen you in forever. It seems like just yesterday we were in the same Spanish 2 class, winter term of my freshman year. I miss that class so much, don't you? What are you doing? Stop, you were always so funny. Side note. While it is preferable for this person to be in one of your classes, for an additional $8.99 we do offer a package where we will give you his or her entire schedule. Step 2. Make every effort you can to mention prom whenever you are near a senior. Oh, did you do that prom proposal on the Stanley porch earlier? It was so cute. I can't believe my friends canceled our plans for Thursday, May 30th. Now I have nothing to do the night of Thursday, May 30th. Such a shame that I'll be free on the night of Thursday, May 30th at the Lawrenceville School. The author's use of boats in this scene is very prominent. It really shows how she's able to ask me to question the character's journey. I repeat, there is prominence on this boat. All this can be yours for the low price of $50 and all of your dignity. Call 1-800-WHAT'S-YOUR-SNAP today for more information.